What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. We have some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero news content and updates for you guys here today and we have the full build for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero that was just released here today from other Dragon Ball content creators. With the full build, we've been shown every single menu and every single game mode along with the entire character roster that we can look forward to when Dragon Ball Sparking Zero actually does drop. But before I go any further, shout out to Globku. I'll leave a link to him down in the description below. All of this gameplay that will be shown in this video is from his video, so I'll leave a link to his channel and his video down in the description below. So straight right here, we are welcome to every single main menu within Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, and if you are wondering why I'm saying every single main menu, it's because each game mode that you do go to, it will have a separate distinct menu that is exclusive to that specific game mode. So for example, Episode Battle will have its own menu screen right here on the screen with Whis and Beerus and stuff like that. If you look at PvP, it'll bring you to to the world martial arts tournament and stuff like that so it's just very very exciting we're gonna go through each and every single one of these game modes each and every single one of these main menu screens so we can break it down little by little starting first here with the episode battles this main menu screen for the episode battles look absolutely amazing you can see we have episode battle and custom battles we're gonna break down both of those each one by one little by little I'm gonna do my best to break it down to the best of my ability but you can see that you have Beerus chilling here you have Whis here you have Vegeta there in the background Goku in the middle the way each main menu actually works is that you're going to be basically played as Goku and Goku's going to travel one by one to each specific main menu depending on the one that you want to go to. But yes, going into the episode battles, we are going to be able to play the story mode from seven different perspectives. The first being Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Frieza, Goku Black, and then obviously Jiren. I'm a little bit questionable as to why they have Goku Black and Jiren. I'm pretty sure a lot of them are going to be consisting more of custom battles rather than the actual storyline because they're literally only into arcs as far as we know, but whatever. We're going to move from there. Once you click on the character, they'll basically fly through this notion where they're going to be flying through all these several images and then you're going to play as them in the specific story that they're included in. This case with Goku Black, he's going to be flying into the stage with Zamasu to incorporate his side of the story. Episode mode is also where you're going to be able to have access to the what if story. So if you have the option to choose something that's outside from the original Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super canon, then you're obviously going to get a different outcome compared to what was originally happening within the original canon story. But going into actual custom battles, custom battles are going to actually be very, very unique. For starters, custom battles, we will have access to custom battles that were already pre-made by the developers of Sparking Zero beforehand. So we're going to be able to have the option to go through specific custom battles that are going to be unique to Sparking Zero's name. And we're also going to have the opportunity or the ability to create our own custom battles and share them with people online. And the amount of abilities that we're going to be able to incorporate within our own custom battles is going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to be able to change the expressions of our characters. We're going to choose our own characters that we want incorporated within the story. We're going to be able to change the poses of our characters, the effects, the cutscenes, choosing our own dialogues, also unlocking our own dialogues. It's going to be very, very exciting to see how the episode battles and the custom battles are going to be in sync with each other because the episode battles is going to be more correlated to the story. Custom battles, we are actually going to be able to explore and do a lot more than we imagined. The next game mode that we actually do have is the tournament mode. Now, going into the main menu for this screen, we can confirm that we have three separate options. The first being regular PvP, the second being super training, and then the third being the world tournament. Now, I think the world tournament is the number one thing most people are excited about. In regular PvP, though, we will have access to going against the computer, CPU versus CPU, which is an incredible aspect that is incorporated within this game, which was also a major feature in Budokai Tenkaichi 3, as well as ranked battles. Ranked battles are going to be a lot of fun, but we're really going to talk a lot about the tournament mode. So specifically regarding the tournament mode, we are able to adjust the settings for the tournament mode to our own liking. So we're going to be able to adjust the time limit, the stage, the match time, the character selection, the specific character customization 
feature, the flying. We're going to be able to turn the flying on and off. It's going to be very, very exciting. And we're also going to have access to a lot of tournament maps that is not just the World Martial Arts Tournament. We will have access to the Tournament of Power, the Other World Tournament. It's going to be very, very exciting. We're going to be having a lot of fun with this game mode right here. The next main menu that we do have is the challenges and missions. And this is the screen where we're confronted by Zeno specifically, along with Goku, Whis, and the Supreme Kai. With this game mode specifically, we will have the option to uh, complete specific challenges and earn rewards. It seems as if the rewards are going to be certain voice lines for maybe specific characters as well as Zenny. So it really just depends on the top right corner of every challenge that you have to do. It does tell you what the reward is. So you're really just going to have to scan through the entire thing when Sparking Zero actually does drop and really go it little by little. Nothing too big for that. I'm not too sure how hard it is going to actually be to get these rewards, but based off of my assumption, I don't think it'll be that hard. The next main menu is we have the shop and customization. We are welcomed here to Krillin from Dragon Ball Super with his hair, along with Master Roshi reading his little magazine right on the side. And we do have the option here to customize our characters, change our clothes, and buy things from the shop. As you can see here on screen right now, we will have the option to buy different capsules. We're going to be able to use our Zenny to unlock different characters. We're also going to be able to unlock different outfits, as well as unlocking different voice lines and specific attacks. That's going to be very, very exciting. We're going to be having lots of times grinding on this game. We have a small piece of footage here of what the actual customization looks like. Based off the customization, we're going to be able to change our outfits, the CPU settings, our emotes. It seems like we're going to be having emotes within the game, and we're also going to be able to change our sparking BGM, and we're also going to have ability items. As you can see here on screen right now, when it comes to outfits, Goku has a variety of different outfits that we can choose from specifically, so it's going to be very, very very exciting and we're also going to be able to have the option to unlock a lot of outfits and different customable options from the item shop specifically the last main menu that we do have actual footage on is the come forth one which is the menu where we are going to be able to summon shenron now i'm not too sure how we're going to be able to collect the dragon balls i'm assuming that you're going to be able to collect them in the middle of your battles like the way it was in budokai tenkaichi 3 and when you do have all of the dragon balls you will be able to summon shenron you can also summon Parunga and Super Shinron. So it seems as if maybe we are going to have different access to certain wishes depending on the specific Shinron that we do summon. The last thing that I actually wanted to talk about in terms of how the game is going to work is the actual control settings. The control settings are going to be absolutely amazing. This is available within the options, but the control settings, remember how we were able to choose among the classic style or the standard style. It seems like that's not gonna be the only styles we can choose from because similarly, to a game like Call of Duty or Fortnite, we're going to be able to change the controls or the buttons for each feature that we're going to be able to use within Sparking Zero. So if I wanted my descend button to be X, I could change it to X. If I wanted my melee to be triangle, I could change it to triangle rather than square. It's very, very cool to see this. This is going to make Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Online PvP way more competitive. Next, we do have the full character roster for Sparking Zero. This is the full roster in its entirety as you can see here we do have all of the separate gokus goku super saiyan blue right here and we also do have super saiyan god goku as you can see on screen right here though on the roster we do have both ultra instincts goku look at the aura dude the aura for goku looks amazing in ultra instinct we do have ultra instinct sign and master ultra instinct it looks beautiful especially in the full costumes that they actually do have we've only seen goku in the anime when he's had ripped up gear so it's really really cool to see how they have their full outfits on for this build specifically we have gt goku gt goku super saiyan super saiyan 3 super saiyan 4 goku it looks absolutely amazing super saiyan 4 goku and we do have teen goku they're not calling him kid goku they're calling him teen goku which is very very exciting especially considering that goku was like 16 during the time that specific arc happened in the demon king piccolo arc going down here we do have all of the vegeta roster we have vegeta super saiyan blue super saiyan 4 vegeta we don't have any regular gt vegeta which you know it could have been unnecessary if they did add it specifically he doesn't really have that much screen time in terms of actual fighting we do have gohan and super saiyan super saiyan 2 we have ultimate gohan as well it's great saiyan man and future gohan i love to see that we actually have future gohan seen in the roster i think that's the first time we've actually seen him within the roster we have piccolo and then piccolo fused with kami we also have nail and then now we're getting into some earthling fighters we do have yamcha tien you know, we also have Trunks, Future Trunks. We have all the separate variations of Trunks. You have Trunks Melee, 
Trunks Sword. We have Future Trunks specifically. Doesn't have Super Saiyan 2, just Super Saiyan. We also have Vegito. We're getting into the fusions now. Vegito, Gogeta GT, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta Regular Super. And we also do have Gogeta Z confirmed for the roster, which is very, very exciting as well. We have Master Roshi and the buffed up Master Roshi, which is pretty cool. And then we have every single version of Frieza Z. We have Frieza in his first form, second form, third form, fourth form, and his full power form. We have Mecha Frieza. Mecha Frieza here looks absolutely amazing. Just look at him. He just looks absolutely amazing. And then we have Frieza Super. Frieza Super in his base form and in his golden form, as well as Cell. All of the transformations of Cell. We have literally everything here. This roster is just absolutely uh, enormous it's it's beautiful we have the cell juniors here we have the booze all of the booze we I, a lot of people were saying we weren't going to get evil boo but as you can see on screen right here we do actually have evil boo super boo boo tanks boo han kid boo here also looks amazing we have mr satan we have the other separate distinct gt characters we have pan from gt and oob from gt we have regular oob from gt and then majub which looks absolutely amazing i do see bardock right there that is dbs bardock so i'm very very excited to see hopefully we get to see him on screen right here a little bit yeah we do this is beautiful bardock looks absolutely amazing i love how they gave him his dbs outfit based off the trailers and stuff like that he is also going to have his z outfit so don't worry about that we have the cyberman we have nappa we have have Zarbon in both of his forms. We have Dodoria. We have Kui or Pui. I think it's Kui. Pui. Yeah, we, we have Kui also in the roster. We have Captain Ginyu, the entire Ginyu Force. Raccoon, Birder, Jice, you know, Guldo. All of the entire character roster. King Cold with his actual Dragon Ball Super Broly design, which is very cool. We have both Android 17s, Android 17 in Z, and then Android 17 in Super with their own distinct moves. And then we have Babidi, Dabura, or Dabuda, sorry, don't call him Dabura, Dabuda. And then we also have the Frieza Force Soldier. I think they could have add, added maybe one more Frieza Soldier, maybe a Puel, but it's okay. It's not that big a deal. We have, this is where we're getting into the movie characters, and this is amazing. We have every movie character for every single, or at least one character for every single movie. We have Z Broly, we have Dragon Ball Super Broly here, we have Garlic Jr., Dr. Wheelow, which is very, very exciting. We also here have Turles. Turles looks absolutely... I love Turles' design here. We have Lord Slug in his normal form and in his giant form, which looks beautiful as well. Love to see we're getting giant Namekians here. We have Cooler and then Cooler in his final form. We also have Metal Cooler, right? We have every version of Cooler here. It looks absolutely beautiful. We have Android 13 and his transformation as well. It's cool to see that we're getting the transformations for these movie characters as well, with the exception of Garlic Jr. We also have Bojack, and obviously when Bojack transforms to his full power, Janimba, you know, the big yellow fat Janimba, and then he transforms into his super Janimba form. And then we obviously also have Tapion. Tapion looks beautiful. And you can't forget Harutagon. Harutagon looks beautiful as well. We have Baby here. This is our first time seeing him in the actual roster, which is very, very cool. We have Baby in all of his transformations as well, in his Ozaru form, which looks beautiful. We have Sen Shinron, and then obviously Omega Shinron. Omega Shinron, basically the same design, uh, or the same model with just, you know, different aspects to their design. We have Beerus and Whis. Goku Black is right down there. You can see Beerus right here. But we do have Goku Black along with Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black, which looks really, really cool. And then we also have Zamasu, Fuse Zamasu and Corrupted Zamasu. This is going to be very... I can't wait to play as Corrupted Zamasu, to be honest. Hit is probably going to be absolutely broken in the game. I can't wait to play as Hit as well. And we also have Frost with Kaba. I can't believe they gave Kaba both of his Super Saiyan forms. It's pretty crazy. We have Super Saiyan 1 Kaba and Super Saiyan 2. And then we only have Super Saiyan 2 Cauliflaw. We have Base Form Cauliflaw and then Super Saiyan 2 Cauliflaw. And then we have Kale. We have all of Kale's forms. I, I know a lot of people say we don't, but we do. We have her in his Super Saiyan and her Berserk form and then in her base form. We have Kefla here. Kefla in Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2, which is amazing. And then we have Jiren in, obviously, Jiren full power as well. And the aura for Jiren full power looks amazing. Not just that aura, but we do have Topo here and then Topo in his God of Destruction form, which looks, it looks beautiful here as well. It, it really, really does. We have Dispo. We also have Bergamo. Bergamo looks absolutely amazing. I love 
the way Bergamo looks on this game. And then obviously we have the three love chicks from, I think it's Universe 2, I believe. And then we have Annie Laza. That's the full character roster. It looks absolutely amazing. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. We did get a massive amount of Sparking Zero news today. So I wanted to cover this all with you guys here today. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Ring that notification bell if you guys are hyped for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.